In accordance with the requirements of the open meeting law, please be advised that this meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the Lunenburg Access YouTube after the meeting. This meeting is being held in person at the location provided in the notice. Members of the public are welcome to attend this in-person meeting. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the open broadcast, unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with a particular interest in any specific item on the agenda should make plans for in-person rather than virtual attendance accordingly. Zoom meeting information is in the meeting. The agenda lists all the topics which may be discussed at the meeting and are those reasonably anticipated by the chair. Votes may be taken as a result of these discussions. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed, and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by the open law. As we are uh, apparently all physically here, we don't have to do roll call style voting. Um, but I we need to do a roll call, so we just go on the floor where you're here. I'm and here. And Peter, you're here. Yes. And Steve, you're here. Yes. And Faith, you're here. And I'm here. Pretty much I am as well. So we have not only a quorum, but a full committee. Thank you. Are there any public comments? Hearing none, are there any comments from the committee members? Hearing none, does anyone have communications that they've been part of to bring to the committee? Track the 630. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is review and, if appropriate, approve the minutes. From 313 that everybody should have. Um, was the van approved? No. Was it? No, that's in my report. The oh, airmark yeah. didn't go through. It was loud. One of the selectmen <laughs> dismissed it right away. Yeah. Because there's other more pressing need in the van to pack? No, because all the money's been taken up by the press. Yes. No, actually, they, they, I don't recall the exact allotment or allocation, I should say, but one of them was for fire alarms and one, one of them was yeah. for, you know, so there was some pretty heavy but they had, expenses. I think they had 22 or three applications and they, and they only approved it. They again. had, they had many applications. They, they probably approved, had 10. They only approved a few. They only approved yeah. a few. I don't think we ever stood a snowball's chance in the world. <laughs> but we're not sure here anyway. We should, here anyway. We should still have put it in. You're right. Who I've never met before came up to me in the post office and said, You're going to get a van. Where are you going to park it? Was it Faith? She was. <laughs> Faith and I were in the back of the park. Okay. That's a phone call. Right. So we'll ask again the next year, ask again the year after that. Right. Maybe it's going to be a year. We'll wear them down. We'll stop laughing at us. Right. Exactly. You know, they want all the other being part of the They've done videos of all the different town kind of events. So yeah. They could you know, support us with their hand. So I am willing to entertain a motion to hold at the minute. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Nays, none, unanimous. Thank you. Thanks for us. Yeah. We we'll always do a few yes, things. Okay, um, this is not in priority order. Um, this is Joe McLaughlin speaking. Um, <clears throat> we hired a production technician. We um, promoted Eric Foster from videographer to production technician. His um, The position will be ratified by the select board tomorrow evening. Yeah. And then a start date will be um, decided on. Um, he's going to meet with our consultant to review our some of our technical needs um, up in the control room at town hall. Um, 
Eric's got some learning curves that he's going to have to, um, you know, get get through. But we think that his technical ability is is there. So finally, after three years of searching, it was right in our own backyard. Is he still going to do story time? Um, we may have to figure out how uh, figure out if someone else has to do it or not, because that takes him many many hours. Yeah. I've offered to fill in if you need anyone. Well, it's it's um, the the recordings of the books. It's, it's putting the each books. page. Oh. So oh. You add the pictures after the yeah. post production. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very very time consuming. Yeah. It's hours per book. Yeah. And you have to determine how long to leave it on so you don't cut off the speaker. Yeah. Yeah. We started a new show called Movie Talk with another videographer, Matt Monroe. He's our newest videographer. And uh, I was his first guest, someone that never goes to the movies. Um, <laughs> but, more than anyone. but I happened to, yeah. I, I did a lot of, um, <laughs> but I did we watch the movie that we reviewed. Um, and it, he's editing it right now. So it's, it should be out very soon. So tell me about that, because he asked me to be involved with that, too. And mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly how he was going to handle it. He, he would prefer to have a co-host rather than a guest. Um, I think that's what he was asking you about. I mean, is, is it new movies or classics? Um, the one we reviewed was um, a Netflix movie. But he could do he could do classics. He's willing to do all different kinds of movies. I told him to contact you about baseball movies. <laughs> yeah. Better two years with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, he's willing to be flexible to do. You know, he's he's the kind of person that goes out and sees a movie right when it's released. Yeah, um, well, we where know. I I'm not. So I told him I I just watched a Netflix movie and he watched it and we talked about it. Oh. Which, Which one was it? Because we have um, Those people. It's with Jonah Hill, and check it out. I don't know who the other one. No, don't check it out. <laughs> this is great on spot. <laughs> well, just, we have we have five thousand films, and every single film has ever been nominated for an Oscar. So we can do that kind of thing, and we also mm -hmm. go, have a film every week at the senior center. Right, right. Which is becoming more and more popular over there. Yeah, and this. We just show uh, this month just showed Oscar nominated films for this year. Oh, okay. So we still get all the new movies. Do oh, we have any rights to use those, or are we stuck with the copyright where it's thirty seconds? Well, well, what um, we don't show the movie. No, no, I didn't know the movie. We, show we discussed. That's what I'm asking about. We yeah, show clips as long as they're no more than thirty seconds. I'm just trying to. The know. clips have music. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay. So he could show a clip without the sound. Right. He um, what he did was um, he showed the trailer pieces of the trailer all throughout the show, and it okay. didn't have any music in it, and it was only you know ten seconds at a mm -hmm. time, um, and also some stills that he did a little Ken Burns on, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, it came out really nice. But there were a few problems with it, so I had him take it back to re-edit. See, the problem is when you don't show a film in its entirety that isn't a minute. It's really tough for people watching to understand what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Gone with the Wind. Yeah. Simple. But you take a new movie, like, oh, I I never heard of that film. And so if I watch two guys talking about with only little teeny clips, I think it would be difficult to synthesize the whole thing into a sensible whole program. It worked out. Yeah. I mean, it. It was fine. Uh, what time is it on? Oh, you didn't do it yet. Oh, I don't know yet. Okay, so a couple of questions. Um, when, how often is he doing this? Once a month. So, uh, suggestion would be that he choose his next month's film while he's making this month's program and say next month, in case you want to go out and watch it, mm -hmm. we'll be reviewing. Oh, you know, that's a great you know, idea. Um, yeah. uh, and my understanding of, um, of copyright law is. Um, Product is not necessarily protected if you're doing a review of it. So I don't know if the 30 second rule applies, but that might be advertising. Yeah. Um, I think, I think, I think you know, unless they change the rule for law, but 
I don't think they have changed it. So the 30 seconds, I believe, is in the place. But remember, Joe, third show we didn't talk in baseball was baseball movies. Right. You, mm -hmm. you filmed in my cellar. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> We've come a long way, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't want us to end up in trouble. We'll end up in sure. trouble. Sure. No, no. And all sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah. The senior center pays $125 a year mm -hmm. to be able to show films there. Right, that would not be a license. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, I mean, we could look into licensing because that's what Monica, my wife, does for our church for all the music we use. Uh, she does it week by week, three, mm -hmm. three times last week um, because of Easter. And mm -hmm. that has to be declared to YouTube. We can do it after we've shown, fortunately. But all the music we have, we've got two licenses CCLI, I don't remember the other. One license, I think it's called. Um, but these are music ones. They have to be equivalent ones for films. So we may need to look into see if there is something because if we get stopped. Yeah. So who's going to look that. into it? Is someone going to talk to them? My preference is I don't, neither does my wife because it drives me nuts all the time. So if somebody did want to take on the task, that'd be truly good. Oh. Uh, Thinking about we're trying to find out if there is a what the rules are, or, or if there's a license. If we can get a license to show uh, clips of movies that we're reviewing, yes. Or what the rules are. Yeah, that would be in, in, in regards to YouTube and or in regards to we broadcast, broadcast or we broadcast. That's all. YouTube, all YouTube's the most likely one to give us problems. Yes. But it's for everything that we now, do. Would so, it be on the website? What was the right, organization right. that you mentioned? They're for music. Oh, CCLI they're for music. Oh, is okay. one. And the other <laughs> is for one license. And you're, you're like, that's using music that would be known as cover, like it's music <laughs> that the world group is performing, but it's someone else's written music. It's, it's the author uh, of the words, the author of the music, the author of the arrangement of mm. the music. Yeah. You can't trust me. I, no, I, I know. And, so, and, you know, to their credit, the music industry has really, really protected it themselves. Yeah. Right. And YouTube has an algorithm that has a, the, a way of hearing. Well, if anybody puts something up on YouTube, like you have a license, <laughs> and, it, and it, while it's processing the video, it'll tell you whether or not you're in violation. Right. We, we, when we first started this, we ran into trouble. If he's stealing, other people's video, it's a lot harder to detect. Oh, uh, not that I'm encouraging uh, that. I would have to disagree. I would have <laughs> really? to say that's easier. It's easier. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, yeah. You, so were you volunteering to look into you this? The yes. It sounded a lot like Yes, that it did. Yes. Why did you look at multiple? I, I just, no, but I just know if, if we say we ought to do something Guaranteed. and we don't. Assign someone. Right. It's just not going to get down the law. I'll see what someone else is doing. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. See what you can find. Yeah. This is You've been thing. very helpful volunteering for things. Okay. Like our Steve has the answer to that. Uh, well, in a quick look, uh, the couple of things I've read zero. Zero what? Percent. Mm -hmm. It's a myth you're allowed to use a tiny bit. Fair use. Uh, for critique, uh, review, and all that is for educational purposes. Yes. And academic. Not you cannot write an article and then just use stuff. You cannot write an article about a book and use the one paragraph that gives the whole book away. Oh. Um, That's gone. You don't. Yeah. So generally, it's zero. Um, uh, oh, we can't. Not. We cannot use clips. Right. How much is too much? That. Um, Universities are use ten percent of a work. They can use ten percent. See, they're all talking about academic. Most of that is for the yeah. academic. Mm -hmm. um, Don't believe you can use ten percent. <laughs> but you know what I would do? Um, Put it on I, an academic channel. <laughs> I would hey, check. Credit. Have him check um, when they do the reviews on TV. You know the shows that actually do reviews. How much yeah. of a film do they show? And have him look at some of those. Uh, I'm assuming. If we still go by the 30 second rule, um, if someone were to come to us and say, well, that's what we, you know, 30 second and all that, generally the courts will say, stop. Yeah. And then you got the same with music. Yeah, the same with music. But 
generally, I asked, I said in a review, and they said, well, no. But you have to get permission from the, uh, that's how they do he, it on TV. He you did, get permission from the studio. Right. He did this in Groton, and they used mm -hmm. flips, and they, it was very successful, and they never had any problem. Mm -hmm. I understand people do it. I'm just so, so I would stick to the theory. Do you remember the show that <clears throat> was on for a while that I didn't like with the old lady, the old guy? Still on, yeah. It's still, still on, still yeah. On. They don't show clips. No. I think they do. Yeah, I've, I've never I've seen them show clips. Show they clips. just they just start yeah. talking to them. Oh. All I'm asking I'm is sworn they let's find clips. out. So we can protect ourselves. Yeah. Keep pushing and we'll do the job. Yeah. that several years ago, I went to a three-hour seminar on copyright law. Mm -hmm. um, and I got the idea that there's a guy on YouTube whose name is Tony Zhu. He's a really great film critic, like high-end, and he uses tons of clips. I'm going to send him an email and say, what are the rules? You have to do whatever you can yeah. because we need it on the record. Yeah, what we can and can't do. Yeah. Okay, now we have an educational channel. No, it's classrooms, academic oh, use. We're teaching something. Yeah. So we're going to use uh, Kitcher in the uh, no Phil Mockingbird, uh, in in our educational setting. We can use ten percent of the book and make copies. We can get the educational license for the film and use the film. If we don't have the educational license, we can use a small amount. To help, uh, but that's where we uh, that oh, comes in. Because I, I thought know. I thought films are 20 25 years old, yeah, and they just got a license, yeah. yeah. That was by the DVD. When I taught, I used to go yeah, to the yeah, video yeah, store yeah. and they would just give me movies. Yeah. So, yeah, Rob, Rob, I started out with 16 to me for me because I was a teacher. You came yeah. out that back before that was back in the 90s. The reason uh, the educational version is so expensive is you're prepaying all the copyright fees. Oh. Rather than try and solve the problem here. Actually, I wish I had pre screened one of them. Okay, let's get back to the. <laughs> all right, rather. So, table to um, assign to Paul to do some research and come back at the next meeting. That's what yeah. I'm asking. Yeah. So, yes. we have a an official position. Uh, so we have references to so that whatever we do, we can defend what we're doing properly. Yes. Just because someone like Rotten manages to do it and doesn't end up in trouble, doesn't give us the ability to do that because we can't guarantee we won't end up. What about the town, the, traffic, so. the town lawyer? Um, do you have you access to the town lawyer? Not yes. yet. Let's get ourselves prepared. <laughs> I'm not sure we even need a motion. We just no, you just want to say I'll get it. I'll I'll call it. Call volunteer. It'll, It'll be, be great for me. Except and at some point, you tell Matt I'd be glad to do a show with him. I just didn't want to commit myself to the whole deal. Yeah, he he um, needs a guest for next yeah. show. Sure. I'll I'll tell Kuhn and Luke. All right. That's the best friend to talk. All right. Huh. Let me make a note one. of that. Do we ever get invited to seminars and conventions and stuff as public access? That's yes. What I wanted to ask. Because that's the kind of place you find some. Right. That's what I was wondering. We, on we went to one and they did talk copyright. Mm -hmm. How goes? Where's the next one coming? Well, the next. Well, he was invited to a meet and greet. Right. That we went to, is it Danvers or something like that? I forget but we've been to so many. The problem years. is he didn't adjust what he was talking about to address the specific issues of public access. Well, TV. The forum that you're on, That's I know you haven't talking. always gotten a good response from the other That's a great public idea. access, but if you could yeah, ask them. I'll post something on there. But again, opinions. And I'll continue to yeah. you know, see what yeah. I can dig up. Right. But again, what you find on the forum. Right. Is typically the opinions of people. I understand that. What but it would be Paul interesting. What Paul is looking for is the is legal definition. So we can find out so we know where we stand and we can go back and reference. Absolutely. There are a good bunch of people out there. They may put us on a good track. Don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. But that's not our solution. And they may tell us that, oh, well, this is the studio that I contacted or this is the licensing or whatever they, well, we may get some suggestions well, that's how it's the universal licensing people, people to actually watch it. 
What are you moving this? I don't think so. Unless you're moving right along. It. <laughs> okay. Um, Steve and I have been working on um, an auditorium simulation at TCP um, without much luck. <laughs> no, that's not fair. All right. We have had some progress. One big step missing. One big step. We need to stream it to cast us from TCP. And IT has been, um, how I should I put it? Very slow to respond <laughs> to our request. Right. Um, so as soon as we get that URL address, we're going to be able to simulate the auditorium from the TC Passios. And then um, we will be testing out the um, the multi-camera shoot at the auditorium on April 28th for the yeah. Are You Smarter game but show. We're going to test it out before then. Right. And then that will be the real live test. Mm -hmm. They're going to let us into the auditorium with all our equipment so that we can do a proper test of it in the proper environment uh, for multi-camera, uh, Zoom coming in, all the bits and pieces. We have a better wireless management plan for the cameras than we've had before, we think. I we think so. Test and what about the audio reinforcement? Going to have that's, to that. that's on our list of things to deal with because when they let us into the auditorium, I'm going to try and get into the control room and see just what's in there as a starting point. Well, but, sorry, we oh. have a plan to go further, which is not only have managed audio come to us so that we're not taking rotten, I'm sorry, poor choice of word. <laughs> Mediocre audio and trying to make it better. Um, garbage in, garbage out. Yeah. Well, it was better than garbage out. We improved it. Joe did a lot of work on Yes, that. you did. Actually, so I'll take that back. We also would like to be able to project. Garbage and recycle that. We'd like to be able to, <laughs> like to, be able to project. <laughs> like to be able to project what we are sending out on the main screen, and we can't do anything like that at the moment. On the main screen in the auditorium. Yes. Yeah, IT um, informed Suzer, who is our contracted IT department, that the audio in the booth in the auditorium needed to be replaced. And really, I heard that. Yeah, he informed oh. he informed them. Uh, oh, sorry. When did I have that meeting? In February, and as of yet, it's not. It has not been replaced. He said. You mean so, the whole board, all of it? Not the board. There's oh, a cable mean, coming the from it. And all that. Oh, there's a cable. The no, not the board. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I should have been more clear. The cable, leaving the. Actually, we want two cables. This is why we have to talk to them, because if we're going to do a full coverage of Zoom, which we haven't been asked to do. But we're trying to make sure we're, what we do do allows that to happen when we do get caught next time. Um, we need to be able to send our incoming Zoom voice, for instance, to the control room so that they can put it on a PA system uh, in the auditorium. Mm -hmm. But the process end to end needs managing. So we need two cables, not one. So. Well, that that was just something I heard in a meeting that yeah. That in I had. addition to that, is there any talk on their end of the fact that the board is just not programmed properly? No, there's no talk of that. That's what Steve is pointing out. Uh, there are, I guess, there are also some issues with. There are some issues with the board. I did ask. You did ask some maintenance issues. There, yeah. I'm not. I don't know what specifically. There could be. There could be a couple of things broken. When we get through this step is the time we want to then open up the can of worms. <laughs> that is our interface with the auditorium control room for both audio and video. Right now, I think we're confident in saying we're enough just putting together what we're putting together. Right. We want that to be together, provably working, architected correctly so that we can do that 
and then when we go and talk to them, we'll be well prepared. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. And we're a good way through. We've got a lot of it working. We've got a lot of We've stuff We've got a working. lot of it working. We've got the Zoom coming in so we could send it out. Yeah. We've got the Castus um, management uh, laptop set up through a wired connection, not through a wireless connection. All of these are improvements. Mm -hmm. We're just missing. We can't send the video. <laughs> Yeah. Every Monday morning, Joe sends out the same email. <laughs> You've got the address for it. Once you. again, yeah. All right. Um, Pete mentioned earlier the earmark. I have it on my list that it was denied by the select board. Um, I worked to recover talking baseball files. I worked with some company in Utah. I worked with our consultant and they were just not recoverable. So I did everything I could. That's great. Um, I attended a meet and greet and you, studio you tour. I want you to be aware though, Jason has amped up his performance. Oh. He does, the, I don't know if you saw it, he did a, a commercial. We do fake commercials now. Oh. And he did one by, uh, I think it was somebody from Revere. About <laughs> seats at Fenway to smoke. No, so his hat turned around with the Revere accent. <laughs> but now he's got a chance to expect it. Going to the hospital. So beware. Good. He <laughs> should not go to the city Revere after dark. It's in. 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 Yeah, what? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. In Fitchburg, you're talking yes. about? Yes. Yeah. They have storefronts like where in Main Street over It's there? on Main Street, but it's sort of pushed back. It's in the Rollstone Bank building. Mm -hmm. um, it's phenomenal. It mm -hmm. is. It's really, really beautiful, um, especially their podcast studio, which is really nice. Mm. Yeah. So it was just a group of um, local access. Uh, directors, um, Clinton, Ayer, Shrewsbury, Groton, and a few more. So that was that was a good get together. Um, I had a Zoom call with Nathan, the president of Castus, regarding our problems, um, and they said that the RAM is going to help and that we also need a laptop to run the castus from the control room. Which we've got. Which we've well yes that well, extra we one. To buy one more. We yeah. Yeah yeah if we need one that's dedicated to that. Yes. Yeah. Buy another. You need a motion? Yeah, yeah no well we we just bought two but that's for the auditorium world. That's right. Yeah. So. And then but there was already one in there that um that we had an extra one in there. Uh, that was an elderly one, though, right? Well, it's it, it's a couple of years old. old. No, no, but I mean, we because the ones we got, I was quite impressed with for five hundred bucks. Yeah, it's not then. It's not as nice as that one, but it doesn't matter if it's just a dummy. Okay, if we can use it, if we have room for it on the table. Yeah, I I've, I've got to figure that out, but. <laughs> He was very apologetic and um, tried to come up with. So where do we stand on the memory at this point? Do you, do you... I don't know. I checked in today with them, but I haven't heard back. Okay. So we're still waiting for them to successfully get us memory that successfully improves the justice. Yes. Yes. Well, ram it through. Can <laughs> <laughs> you put that in the <laughs> <laughs> Just not gonna let it yeah. We're still looking for videographers. Now that uh, Eric is going to be promoted, we need to fill that videographer spot. Um, the production technician will still cover meetings every now and then. I mean, you, yeah, in public access, you do everything, you, you know, but um, I need to, I need at least one more videographer. Um, we covered the water district annual meeting. 
Um, it was the quality of the audio was horrendously bad. Okay, just um, at the conference what, table. What were you using for that? We, we were not using anything. We typically use a table mic. Yeah. However, I got into a scuff with them <laughs> about it. Um, they would not allow us to put a table mic on their table. And that's the, why. that's the only way that's the only way to get quality audio. And I said, this is something we do with every committee when yeah. we, mm -hmm. they said, if you don't have a policy, we're not going to do it. Oh. So yeah. I would like us to have a policy. So we should talk about that because that just is not right. Yeah. You, you know, otherwise, I mean, we're not obligated to do anything for anyone, right? Right. Um, well, we sort of are. Like we are. Water districts are a weird Understood. relationship with the town. Yeah. Right. Right. It's, it's, I know well, everything. But we've got to free coverage, and you know, we should be able to do it the way we need to do it. it it's not worth recording if the audio is bad, right. and it's a waste exactly. of everyone's time. Right. Right. That you couldn't put it any better than that. We said just one camera. No, two cameras. Two, two cameras. The audio of the speaker in the room was perfect. Um, and the audio for the moderator was perfect, but you couldn't hear anything from any of the, committee the members. board members, no. commission members on, on there. And um, so I said I would come back with a policy. Yeah, so like if I understand you correctly, if we have a written policy that says we require um people a table microphone a table microphone, then they'll honor that for committees. What and they had well they they said they would. Um they had microphones, but I don't know how the audience heard them. I couldn't hear them through the camera. Where was this done? In their garage. In the, yeah, they, they use the garage. I'm sorry, did you say in the garage? Yes. The gay garage. The gay the garage. garage. Whichever. I mean, garage. they did it. They used their own mic system. They used their own mic system, and it was poor at best. Because you could, there's probably a monitor out of their system that could go into yours. I didn't see their system. Did their panelists, um, who was running the meeting, the commissioners, use mics? They did, but all we heard was I jacked up the audio as best as I could, but but yeah, once again, like you know, that's and that's adding more work for you folks, which shouldn't have to happen. Right, yeah. right. My my preference is to play this if we can at a different level. Let's go through the town manager. Because right. we can't write a policy, especially for the water department. No. That's nonsensical. Um, no other meeting that we're aware of gives us any hassle at but all. But it doesn't matter. If we so write a policy, could nobody not. could give us any hassle. Well, I it think wouldn't, we should make a policy. It wouldn't be for well, the water district alone. It yeah. could be used for everybody we go to. Yeah. They, they haven't complained. However, my opinion of it is we should have a written policy sure. that is signed by all the members and signed by the town manager. Mm -hmm. And that way we can say that it is a, a standard policy that if a committee does not have certain kind of microphones no, or- we should just if, say that we, we all have the televised <laughs> meetings, the equipment will be provided by the um by you know Pat. No, we, we can't. We can't go into the garage and bring in a whole audio system. We don't have that. A ability. table mic works great. I know, but we have to be very, very careful. What I'm trying to get to is I don't want this to be Pac's initial responsibility. I really want it to be the town's responsibility that says in one or two sentences. Uh, the open meetings, um, you know, where possible can be televised, which includes audio, and the meeting organizers have to collaborate with doing it. 
if you try to get into details and say you want a table table mic, but they actually have a nice PA system, we can just go into the monitor app. But you know, there are so many options. But that's I'm why I mean, in general, I, yeah. Because they've got to have something. No, the district has That's what I'm trying to say. District, yeah. it's, it's like a school district. It's, it's on, onto itself. It's only geographic, political, and right. it doesn't even cover all water districts. It's not all only only people who are the yellow line. Right. No, I, I will answer that. I'm part of the water district. I just found out. Yes. And they will never bring water to my house. Yes. Unless you would, right? A, Yes, yeah. there's a map, and the only way to find out, I asked the water department, the only way to find out if you're in the water district, you have to go to town hall and look at the map. Because mm -hmm. literally, the people that live behind me are not in the water district. If, if you have the ultimate event mm -hmm. ability of looking into the water district, then you are a member of the district, even if you would have to spend 80 No, but you have to be on the map, whatever the map yeah, says the map, you're in. That's right. So I, officially, I can go to the water department meetings and vote. I just found that I've lived here for Even though you get 35 it. years, and I just found out last week. So let me ask what the town you, manager no, has what, control of. I, when my backyard was flooding, <coughs> um, they, they broke the water main on Pleasant Street and had water going both sides of my house. Mm -hmm. And after that, I still had water problems. So I'm talking to them. I went through Heather, and she sent them an email to deal with a, an annoyed citizen that was me. So I don't know what the relationship is, but what you're pointing out, you can which, complain. Yeah. She can complain, but she yeah. can't control. Yeah, I, I understand that. What I'm my concern is, if the town has no authority over the water board, what the hell are we doing, doing their meetings for them, especially if they're not collaborating? Well, that's a we, good question. We might be trying to solve the wrong problem. Is what I'm only saying. because it's one that everyone in town has been watching. Yeah, I know. It's very popular yeah. <laughs> and it was originally requested by one of the select board members who's no longer on the select board but i i think i'm assuming i don't know that heather wants us to continue it and just judging by the popularity of right. the meetings but we're right. getting so, blamed for the lack of quality and it's not our fault yeah it's another good point it, i'll yeah. second that and, i mean I'll, right. I, I'll, just to take a step back for one second so we'll try to look at this a little bit from above, if you will. Could we just have a conversation with them, and then just you know, like ask you know, someone, someone from our our group, sit down with um, the head commissioner, what I think is Mark Birch, and just say, look, you want us to record your meetings, um, and the town wants us, and to the town you. wants us to do it. We get blamed for crappy audio. Yeah, we really need to come to some kind of an understanding without having to force it on you. I mean, again. Sometimes things can be simple if you just have a conversation. Let, let me just clarify because I left something out. <laughs> um, their, we, their monthly meetings, they allow a table mic. It was at their annual meeting. They did not allow it. Why? What? Because. I know why. Well, I think we know why. We know why. Yeah. Um, and why? their reasoning was that if the selectmen at town meeting get to have microphones that turn off and on, they should be allowed to have microphones that turn off and on. In their big meeting two months ago, um, they made comments. They thought the mics were oh, on. The the mics were on. on. Because it, it was an open mic. So it was some interesting, yeah, language. Some yeah. interesting yeah. language that yeah. they yeah, did not October. know how to turn. Yes. They did not. That's what we have a meeting about. And that's, and that's what we brought that stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. You can get it parabolic. I'm so far liking this suggestion as a starting point. Okay, but I still think for for anything preventative, I still think we should give Joe a policy to to we can have a shield in front of her because you know we don't know what's going to come up in the future. And if she says we have a policy, if if and it's it's our board that did it, you know. Like, if you're gonna if you're gonna be televised through us, we have to use whatever equipment we choose to use that we need to use and that we need to use quality. Of our, right. so the quality. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's not worth doing. Right. Like no. you said, so we want to do it. Have asked to be televised. Originally, no. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, a select board member right. requested okay. that we start recording now. Okay. Don't remember which one it was. I, I do. I make a motion that we that we draft a policy stating that if a committee uses what's your official title, Lunenburg Public Access, to televise their meetings, they must cooperate and use whatever equipment we deem necessary, we deem necessary. We deem necessary to provide quality audio and visual coverage. If you would take one word change, which okay. is instead of televise, it's record. Okay, record. Then it covers everything that's happening. I'll see the presentation. Right. Okay, okay. we're well, not going to get that exact motion. Uh, appropriate equipment. I'll have to read it. To draft, sure you'll do it better. To allow PAC to use appropriate equipment to televise, record, uh, to, to record, thank you, to yeah. record uh, the event. The event for audio visual quality control. Yeah, quality control. So if we, if we follow the same procedure we did with the drone policy, we drafted it tonight and then in a month's time we will vote on it. Okay. Correct. No, well, is that okay for you? So I have the motion is to draft a policy to a policy to allow PAC to use appropriate equipment to record uh, an event yeah. an event for quality control. Right. It doesn't have to be all committee meetings. No, Does that make, make any of that. I, I think quality I would control. Consider adding, in, you know, in, the yeah. in, in our discretion. So, like, in other words, we go there and we realize we need yeah. to table night, but we need to have our group. It's, uh, it's up to us, not up to them. Oh, it's fine. I can see people saying, oh, no, I can hear you. You know, yeah. they, they, don't, they don't have a clue what's actually right, happening. Yeah. Right. So, think, so, somewhere in there, I think you need the discretion word. Yeah. Judgment, the judgment of, you know, of the. Uh, Video. Yeah, technical, technical judgment. Yeah. Technical judgment. Yes. Technical judgment. Yes. Just that will confuse me to My concern with this is. Is there a second? We, a second. Okay. Thank you. It is. My concern is I, I think we're right. We probably should have this. But I see no way why the water board might uh, be happy to accept it. Because I'm beginning to suspect that they really don't want these meetings recorded. You know, I concern. could pose the question to um, to our town manager. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think that's a good idea, but I think trying to have a meeting with them because this is a point of contention. It's not what all the other committees are doing. They all work with us. They all generally happy with us. We behave, they behave. Um, this they is, do have the right, though, to say, I want this meeting televised. Yeah. I'm not sure what it, it's an open meeting, meeting or not. Is oh. it an open meeting? Yes. It is? Yes. Why would it be an open meeting? It's not government. It is government. No, it isn't. I'm sorry. They're not they part of the town, but they That's are. Right. They are elected. They, they're, yeah, it is, it is it's an elected body. It's a, it's You're right, place. it's elected. And it is, it's, it's, it's a really district, but they're not under control of anyone. Oh. It's not like a town within a town, like they're autonomous yeah. of the whole town. Yeah, well, yeah not even the whole town. That's pretty much right. I don't know. It's not, but um, I mean, okay. I, I, in my reporting hat, I learned a lot, and I had some interesting conversations with the staff, the commissioner. And the, um, the people by the over there. That's why I think I think I think they actually do want to have better communication and education to the town. Uh, yeah, I don't think they mind us doing their monthly meetings, and they allow a table mic for the monthly meetings. This was specific to the annual meeting, and they said again. I mentioned this, but they said the select board has microphones for town meeting that turn off and on. And that's if they have that, we should be able to have that. So, so, so let them get them. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to provide them. Right. 
and, right. you know, they, they have a budget. Well, that's come about because of this last yeah, fiasco. Yeah. Just out of curious. No one ever went to a water meeting in his career. <laughs> no one. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't know what they were. Right. Did, did they ask you to cover the October debacle meeting? Was that requested by them or by um, someone in the town? Remember, I know it's, it's a general that. request at the moment. That was that was covered by us. I mean, yeah, do you know who asked for that coverage? I'm saying it was covered by the general we just, request to cover. Yeah, that. yeah, just I generally. It was a special meeting. Right. It was a special meeting, right. but they did request. How many meetings I mean, did they, the water department have we covered before that? We've been covering them for three years now. Every single meeting. Every years? single meeting, really? pretty Let much. Let me ask you. Oh, Let me ask you. Three Procedures years, two years. It's got to be, got to be at least two years. Wow. Well, here's a question: Is it a public meeting or not a public meeting if one of us, with Joe, sits down and talks to either their head commissioner, who I think is Mark Birch, and or their supervisor, and or both right. of them say, "Can we have a meeting to straighten this out?" Right. I'm trying to get. To do that, but keep wandering off. But okay. we need to do that. But we may want to take Heather's advice beforehand to make sure we're not crossing any lines we shouldn't be crossing. Because we're a town department. Yeah. We're not a five or one six. So we come under Heather whether we like it or not. Okay. But um, try to so, find out from Heather how to manage this situation, I think would be wise. That's, That's all true, but we also need a policy. I'm not, so we've already done that. So, so I'm yeah. just gonna read this because I didn't make one editorial change. To allow PAC to use um, uh, appropriate equipment in their technical judgment to record an event to ensure quality control. Like yeah. that. Sounds good. That's some really good words. Good point. Did we reach a point? I, I would leave the two allow. Out. Yeah. We are right. to do it. Yeah. 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 I think that's better too. Okay. More imperative. PAC will use. Yes. yes. Yeah. PAC will use appropriate appropriate equipment, comma, in their technical judgment, comma, to record an event to ensure quality control. Yes. To ensure final quality. No, just ensure quality control. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure it's right because we'll have to do a second reading and yeah. I'll do the minutes and you can fix it. So yeah. we have the motion. We have a second, I believe. Yes. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 No nays, so we're completely nayless. Good. Is that a word? <laughs> so um, <laughs> the, the other piece, the um, how do we handle that? Oh, we don't yeah, want to talk to Heather. And, I, and my see. guess is if Joe and I talk to Heather, would be the, yeah. the right way of dealing with it. it is. Um, I've um, had, and that doesn't make motions, right? But um, I'm volunteering if, if there is to be a meeting with the water district people, I'm volunteering to be part of that, okay? Because so, I've got connections with them, and, and it is a good work. Two of us can go to such a meeting without it being yeah. an open meeting. So you and I can say, for instance, Joe. I mean, I don't take this wrong. Joe doesn't count. <laughs> That's why it says I'm not in for because it's <laughs> only the committee that counts. <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe you should. Okay. Um, we added seven new programs on Channel 9, including PSA concerts and presentations. Last year, we ended the fiscal year with 82 programs and about, I believe it was around 63% locally produced programs. Right now, we're at 94 programs with a whole quarter left to go mm -hmm. and um, up at 70% locally produced. So we're, we really grew this year yeah. so far, yeah. Um, <clears throat> We're looking for a new cart, trailer, van solution for mobile shoots. Um, I just ordered a, for $284, a souped up fancy cart. Was that the one you sent me? Yeah. Oh, you did order it, okay. I did. 
with it, with a little that. extension on the front, we could probably mm -hmm. put the tripods, lay them down, and and, and all that. Mm -hmm. I, I actually ordered it today because the one we were using had to be returned. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But even if we ended up with either a van or a trailer solution, um, you still want the car. So I was going to mention that. So we don't yeah. Okay. Um, They're closed. You know about the NH. Yes, in fact, oh, I had a company this weekend oh, who yeah. worked for B&H, so they were off for a week. They closed for what? Passover. Um, the holidays, August, holidays, August, the New York Camera stores do, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah minor in the major. I think it's the 19th they said they were Yeah. It's so hard to get that out Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and um, we got two new affiliates, Ocean... Side College and South Portland, and I, it's attached at the end of your packet. Um, Do we have report? We have uh, right now. We have nine states that take our programs, mm -hmm. and seventy-five affiliates. Wow. And I, I left uh, in one column uh, some of the shows that they're. Downloading, so you can see how many. What page are you on? The very yeah. last uh, three pages of the report. Oh, yes. As far as um, financials, you'll see on the front page our ending balance from last month, from March, is nine fifty four to ninety one. The other pages support that with the town financial report in the middle of, of all of this. Can I make a financial comment? Yes. Unless it's on your list already. When we put the presentation together, we have this money in a fund, which generally two thirds is not a lot of interest. And Karen and who's the other person? Miley. Said that they, Miley. while there are rules, they can look into it and see if they can do something to get us a better interest rate. Mm -hmm. So the $6,670 we have in the presentation, which I won't change because that's where we stand, um, maybe, hopefully, an underestimate. So that will generate more income. But I was pleasantly surprised by that side of the way. To understand that's where we are on that one. I haven't done any back yet. I haven't either. Let me make a note. I'll add okay. that to my Monday email. Yes, right. <laughs> Just don't send it to Casey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was nice to hear for a change. Um, the only thing I didn't go over with the calendars for March and April, if you want to take a look. Um, sure, uh, request. Sure. Story time people would like to be the dates for that. Tuesday, possibly. Um, I'm missing my April. Oh, here it is. Tuesday the 18th? Yeah. Sure, can we do it in the morning still? 11 o'clock. Yeah. Thank you. Is that your group? Yes. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what does Eric pick up mean? That's for him to pick up the story time books. Oh, so he can record oh. them. Yeah, it takes him like three or four days to record. And I mentioned the programs. We are at 70% local, locally produced and 91 programs in total. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't work out too well. Yeah. Um, that's all I have. Is there any questions? No, just uh, good work as usual. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not part of your report. Anything else? 
Program Manager or Fund Manager. Do you have anything to add on the auditorium test bed? We put it in in case we need to do something from the agenda. We're just still stuck. We're with still the, at, at the uh, standstill. to give us a port address. That's all we're looking for. Yeah. We just need a, a URL address to send the recording to send the live stream to Castus. When is it going to be needed to go with the auditorium again? Uh, the um, 28th of April. April. Of April. Can we gently push our town manager to make a way to push for us? Can we keep asking you? Yeah. It, I, I eventually get to that point, and it's probably time to get to that point. Yeah. 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 I'll make a note of that. Yeah. I've heard it several times. <laughs> Yes, to say the least. Given the amount of work we put into assembling that, yeah, which was a lot, a lot of work, and given the frustration from the general public, and it's all out. They mm -hmm. think it's all out. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. all out. So yeah. you know, we need to be visible there. That is important. Yeah. So we're okay with that. Do we want to, or do we have anything with the personal equipment policy, or do we? Need to still play it with. Do we have a draft or anything? Yeah, we do. We do. Remember, it was on the no, piece that's of paper. That's what I'm asking. I don't yep. know. Oh, no, wait. That was. Is that to John? That's to John Potts. Oh. <clears throat> I think, I think um, in my recollection, the last meeting was so consumed with yeah. the um, budget, with the budget yeah. that we cabled it just like yeah. that. Um, I don't think we're going to find any written policies from, I've, I've reached out to a number, we reached out to a number a couple of times. Um, what we might just consider is having a waiver um, that we draft that, um, in a policy. So the policy would be something to the effect of that PAC employees or to use PAC equipment um, whenever possible on shoots um, on the occasion that they're willing to use their own personal equipment. They have to sign a waiver, holding us harmless if they can go there and shoot. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I've written on here: waiver yeah. on personal equipment. Yeah. If you do that, I'm sorry to say you may have to run it by the town attorney. Okay. We're actually taking a legal position, which I'm not disagreeing with. And I understand. Up. And again, trying to protect us. Yeah. And defeat the work, of course. Okay. But I don't think we. Can put that kind of language in without approval from them to say we've said it right as a policy. Right, that doesn't. Fine. Mean, so we can, if that's what we want, and if Steve wrote it down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wake him up again. Oh, I listening. I'm listening. Yes. But uh, what's the policy? Faith has it, don't you have it? No, I have the drone mm -hmm. policy, but mm -hmm. I had written down that we were going to do something similar. So, okay, just on, talking out just loud. On that, personal that, equipment. Yeah, that, that bull talking out loud would be um, PAC requires its employees or volunteers Good. to use PAC owned equipment. Exceptions can be made in the event that equipment is not available, provided uh, so that personal equipment can be used, provided that the individual signs a waiver to hold PAC harmless for any uh, damage or loss of equipment. Sounds good. And then the attorney can. Yeah. They, they have to play with it. They can put well, their legalese. Yeah. So that's a little screw. Yeah. yeah Confuse it. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and just not part of the policy, but just to reiterate why I brought this up in the first place is that you've got these people who are working hard for Joe. There might be an opportunity to um, for them to earn some money to record something for the town. And there's no equipment available because everything is you know, multiple things happening on, on a given day, which happens fairly often it's usually one or two three meetings at a time so you can provide more programming um and individuals can get the opportunity to right do it. 
there has been an issue in the past of one long gone videographer, I think, who wanted to use a different standard format for bringing the video in so it didn't work with the stuff we had. Mm, like panel? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Uh, it's not European. <laughs> That's the French one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was not ATSC yet. Yeah. So. No, it was in, no, I don't know what. Yeah, yeah whatever. But um, I forget what it was. It was at a time when we had different file formats and before yes. we had easy conversions. It might have been was, a. I think JVC started using an Apple standard that nobody had heard of. Yeah. And it's, it's well, the whole MPEG 4 and MPEG 2 and all that stuff. We're, we're in better shape now. Oh, yes. that. So, so but that's where the problem arose originally. So, um, the, you, you're bringing up a good point. Some of this, all of this really needs to be the discretion of the manager. In other mm -hmm. words, um, mm -hmm. like if I show up with my beta cam <laughs> that's no longer, you know, working. So, um, how about you add a phrase something yeah. to do with prior approval of the manager? Yeah. It's only four words. Yeah. Yeah, I've had people use their own equipment and I don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. to cover ourselves, I think it right. would yeah. be great to so do that. First yeah. Five, six years of talking baseball was okay. Yeah. I just brought you over the uh, band to work with. Yeah. This is what I got. Yeah. So this is what I got. PAC requires its employees and volunteers to use PAC owned equipment. Exceptions to this can be made with prior manager approval, provided the individual, possibly yes, signs a waiver relieving PAC of all liability for personal equipment. I can remember when you say that. Uh, damage or loss, loss or damage. All right. Oh, yeah. All liability. 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 liability of using personal equipment. No, yeah. of Just personal liability. Equipment. liability. All liability. That's so yeah, yeah. where the attorney has the right language to use. Yeah. yeah. And if, Steve, if you don't mind reading the first sentence one more time. PAC requires its employees and volunteers to use PAC owned equipment. Okay. For PAC owned equipment for PAC jobs, PAC recordings, assignments, PAC assignments. Okay. Yeah. PAC assignments. Exceptions to this can be made with prior managerial. Approval provided the individual signs a waiver relieving pack of all liability. Yeah, that's good. I have to get some things written correctly. That's I can pledge good. everything else. I mean, I don't know how often this would even come up, but it, <clears throat> it's good to have it. And she's doing a, you're still working on that handbook of. In case you get run over by a bus, the, the pack Bible, the pack Bible, yeah. 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 Okay. You're still in the old testament. Yeah. <laughs> That's long. Yeah. So this is presently a motion made by. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll I'll make a motion that we um, adopt adopt this, this policy pending um, approval in um, editing by legal counsel. Yeah. yeah. Second. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 And again, we are neighbors. Okay. Ready? Thank you. No. Well, no. We always do this the other way around. We need the next meeting and then we. Address. Okay. I didn't watch. Next, next meeting. Yeah, well, it hasn't been anywhere. Okay, we're meeting the second week of the month. So, did you get attend the building crew who, who may have abandoned what they're doing? Yeah, I asked. So, my question is, are they doing it? I can't tell at this point because at the end of the last meeting I was at, <clears throat> uh, they seem to be of the opinion they finished their job. This was just in discussion right at the end of it, and I couldn't tell. So they're supposed to be going in front of the select board to make a presentation to them, uh, which I have not yet seen show up on the calendar. I've been looking for it. So I, I can't answer your question for the moment. Maybe once they've done that, I'll be able to answer it. I ask because if they're not meeting, I would prefer to go back to the first 
first week of the month instead of the second. I have another meeting tomorrow, but no one can back up all this. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that I have the room booked to June. Okay, we do it. And then June. if we go back to July. Okay, yeah. so do the next two because I've already moved it from Monday to Tuesday. Objection. The first Monday in July on the way. So just to make sure. All right. Well, I'm not here in July. Anyway. All right. Where are you? I'm in the Can front of the building. Oh, the, yeah, you're um, in part of August. Yeah, your concert. So I don't care when you do it. So then, <laughs> <laughs> what makes a quorum? Three. 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 Music loud. From a motion to adjourn. Well, hang on, did we we agreed to a staying with May the eighth at this point? Yes, we did. That's all right. May eighth. Yep. And then there was a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All of seconds. No discussion. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those nay. 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 Nay